What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to talk about the five things that I wish I knew before I went to coding boot camp. If you guys are new to the channel and you're into tech, entrepreneurship, startups, or coding or anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me just stay motivated to keep making these videos for you guys. And this one, it won't be super long, but I just made a list of the things that, you know, when I think back on when I went to coding bootcamp, these are things that if I had have spent more time either researching them or if I had have known that I needed to research or that I probably should research some of this stuff, I think that it would have made the bootcamp experience a little bit smoother in terms of some of the pieces coming together more easily, it would make a little bit more sense to kind of have some background in certain things. The first thing is SQL. So I wish I gave myself more exposure to SQL and just understanding databases in general. So some of the topics that you might wanna look up when it comes to researching and understanding databases or SQL before you go to coding bootcamp are, um, things like what is a relational database. Also, you can even download SQL, SQL Server, MySQL Workbench, like some free version of SQL. And then you guys can also go online and just basically look up or Google like practice SQL queries. And then you can go in there and kind of get an idea of how to write SQL syntax and the idea of querying things and joining things or you don't even have to go as deep as learning joins. I mean, I would say that's actually a little bit advanced for bootcamp, but the idea of going in and being able to select things, um, insert things, um, just retrieve data, like how to access values from a certain column that you want on a certain table, things like that. I think if you could understand the basics of SQL before going into coding bootcamp, that would put you probably quite a few steps ahead of pretty much everybody else in your coding bootcamp. The second thing is backend programming. So I definitely tried to play around with backend languages, but I wasn't really having a lot of success in my opinion in teaching myself. You guys have probably heard me say that a ton of times on this channel. So I kind of gave up on it and I focused on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, CSS Grid, like stuff like that. I stayed with all front end stuff. So I kind of purposely dodged the things that I probably should have been diving deeper into. So some of this stuff uh, that you guys should or might want to research is gonna be data types, data structures, you might want to build a basic console application or at least try to build one in whatever language you're using. Uh, you want to be comfortable with functions and creating methods. You want to understand conditional logic and also loops. I think if you can understand that basic stuff um, going into coding bootcamp, then it'll be much easier to kind of pick up what they're trying to teach you when you get there. So the third thing is GitHub collaborations. So for me, like I said, I had been doing a little bit of front end before I went to coding bootcamp and I had already followed some tutorials online and learned how to push some of my projects to GitHub. But I did not understand that there was a major difference between you as the single solo developer pushing your changes and making your commits on GitHub and working with multiple developers on multiple branches and things like that all on the same repository in trying to make your changes to GitHub. So if you can, if it's possible, link up with somebody who is also trying to learn how to code like you or maybe has a little bit more experience than you and you guys should definitely, even if it's not a project that you guys work on, even if you just put like a random file, you know, and commit that random file to GitHub and then have the other person pull that file down, make a change to it or, you know, make a separate branch or whatever. And you guys basically work on making changes to the same file and, you know, if you get into merge conflicts, it won't be a bad thing because you need to kind of know how to troubleshoot merge conflicts. So that would be good, but it's just the whole point of just learning how to get into the workflow of communication, leaving good messages for other people um, when you make commits. I think if you could spend some time really just understanding how collaboration on GitHub works, then that would definitely be a big leg up because I'm sure you're gonna end up working on a final project or doing something where you're working with other people and you're gonna be using some sort of version control, whether it's Bitbucket or GitHub. So yeah, you might wanna just understand what the workflow is like using version control with other people. The fourth thing is just better knowledge of networks and servers. So 
Again, this one doesn't have to be super, super deep or super, super technical. Some of the things you might want to keep in mind is like, what is a network and how do computers actually communicate? So if I send something to another computer, like an email or something like that, like how is the data getting from my machine to the other person's machine? Another one is what are servers and what do they do and what do they not do? So I know that I had a really hard time understanding what a server was and you know also not thinking of it as something too generic because there's lots of different types of servers so for a while it really i really struggled with that concept in understanding where a server fell into play related to the internet and with us as software developers so i think the more you kind of peel back those layers of mystery related to like networking and servers and things like that like this is what makes up the internet so at the end of the day it's really really important almost as important not almost it's just as important in my opinion as learning how to code and you know being a good developer is kind of knowing the ecosystem of the internet your operating system networks like all those things make all of what we do possible so um it would definitely help out to spend some time doing some research on that and then the last thing is just getting better with understanding apis so before i went to coding boot camp i knew that api stood for application program and interface but that's all I knew. When I got to coding bootcamp, we only spent like one day and it wasn't even a full day on APIs. It was really just like one half of a day. I honestly didn't get a good grip on APIs until after I left bootcamp and started doing projects on my own and then also get into my first job where I had to interact with a ton of different microservices or I at least saw a lot of code for a lot of different microservices. If you spend some time just Understanding APIs, what they are, what they do, how they work, why they exist, I think you will definitely put yourself on a really good track to just be slightly ahead of the rest of your uh, peers when you go to coding bootcamp. Uh, while I've been quarantined, I've just been trying to sit back and think about how I want to bring you guys new content, fresh content during this time. And I think I want to make the videos a little bit shorter and keep them a little bit more concise. So I hope you guys like this format. Um, if you're thinking about going to a coding bootcamp or if you're brand new to coding, make sure you guys check out the description box down below. Where I'm giving away my free intro to coding bootcamp course. It's got everything I wish I knew going into coding bootcamp. Do a front end project. There's like intro to back end stuff in there. Uh, and it doesn't cost anything except your email address. So make sure you guys check that out. Again, this is Darren with Darren the Dev. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video, all right?